हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल रिंक वार्ड दिस इज राजेश सो टिल नाउ आई हैव बीन टीचिंग यू ऑल द कैरेक्टर डिजाइंस एंड द टिप्स हाउ टू डिजाइन योर कैरेक्टर सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स वी आर डूइंग फॉर एनिमेशन ओके इफ यू वांट टू डू कैरेक्टर डिजाइनिंग एज योर प्रोफेशन यू कैन डू दैट बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर एनिमेशन दैट ऑल्सो विल डू बट फॉर एनिमेशन यू नीड टू नो द पोजेस एंड द प्रिंसिपल्स सो दोज थिंग्स आई teach you in some other videos before that i'll teach you another software in which you can do animation so i was using this software this is autodesk sketchbook in this you can also do the animation but this is not meant for animation so in this software you can design your character nicely and later on you can take the character as a reference and you can do the rigging and other things in flash uh, which is now called as animate cc this is the software and let me open it from the beginning so that you will get to know how it is working okay in this video i'll show you a quick tutorial on adobe animate cc hey welcome everyone you are watching the channel rink what in my videos i have used this sketchbook and i have shown you how to draw manually also but now i want to introduce a new software called adobe animate cc okay so how to download and how to install all these things you can find in internet in youtube and those things i am not going to teach you that you can very well do and i'll explain you animate cc related to character designing only because other things like the process of animation the detail tools those things i i am not going to teach because we are concerned about the character designing and animation but that too also manual animation let me explain you a bit in this software software for character designing i am using uh this sketchbook and i can use animate as well okay for software we are using two softwares to design our character designing okay second for animation we will use only one software that is adobe animate cc here in adobe animate cc we can do two type of animation okay one is 2d traditional and another one is 2d we can say digital or rig base so let me explain you about 2d traditional and 2d digital or rig base okay 2d traditional animation means you have to do manually means the drawing you have to do manually for each and every frame but in 2d flash or rig base you need to draw a character in which the bones or we can say the rig character will be there and we we can do the animation with that character with that single character only by rotating or moving the handles in 2d traditional you have to do everything manually suppose i have to draw first here and then next i have to draw the ball here maybe here okay every time you need to draw the drawings in each frame but here in this case suppose here you are drawing one character and next character you need not have to draw this one you have to take this and copy paste and you can use that same a character or the object without drawing it once again okay that is a flash rig base animation that is simple but you can't do more actions or more poses in flash it will look a little like sticky but in traditional you have the liberty to draw uh, any type of poses or any type of drawing in between to make it real so traditional are little tough if you are drawing base artist you love to draw then you should go to 2d traditional my animations are maximum traditional plus somewhat rigging base also because every time i have to draw or every part of the body is not possible that's why i mix both the things so i'll uh, teach you all those things A rigging example also i'll upload let me give you a quick intro to animate cc and then we'll start doing small animation in animate cc and we'll continue the character designing also with some poses and we'll increase our traditional style that is drawing okay so let me open it open so this is animate cc 
and you need to install it we'll do some basic animations in animate cc and you will have fun uh, in that so you have time you can install it by the time i'll do some character designing classes in sketchbook pro and if you have any doubts in character designing and if you have any problem then please let me know and you can send me your drawings to my gmail id that is rkart83 at the red gmail.com and i'll do the correction and get back to you okay so here it is at the beginning you will see this page so this is the page you will find when you are opening for the first time uh, here you will see some recent files in your case you will not find any because this is the first time you are opening the software so here if you can see presets there are four options are there first one is full hd second one is hd third one is 4k and the last one is standard you have to choose full hd okay if you are going for a uh, full hd movie or animation so i basically choose full hd later on you can ch uh, change the settings also not a big deal okay or you can do uh, settings of your own by putting the details over here and create so this and this are equal it's not a problem if you are hitting here or here so i'm hitting create so here the animate cc has started it's opened and you can see on the right hand side here it's the property and beside property it is the library okay if you are unable to see this then you can go to window and you can check properties okay before if it is not visible then you can go to window and hit properties there you can find all the properties so now it is showing about the background this one you can see stays and the frame per second is 24 you can change this you can change the color of the stays as well if you want you can change any i prefer to white and uh, the width and height is given here as you have selected the full hd or you have given your own details frame per second maybe 24 25 or 30 i prefer 25 so according to this this will change because 25 frames equal to one second according to this before it was 24 frame equal to one second i have changed to 25 so now you can see over here one second means 25 here two second means 50 means total four second will be 100 frame so this is the timeline in which you will insert the keyframe to draw your cartoons or your drawings okay these are very important segment for an animator so this i will explain you in my animation videos for the time being we are doing only character designing so we'll go for the tools which are required to draw our characters okay so left hand side these are the basic tools you know i'll use very few for designing my character in this case i'll use the brush this is the brush b for brush and i will hit this or i can hit b on my keyboard to select brush if you can see over here i'm hitting brush over here and you can see the property on the right hand side the strokes everything you will see over here okay the size 11 smoothness is high over here i can reduce the smoothness as well and here points are there brush options are there i'll explain each and every point on brush because th uh, this is the important tool you have to use for character designing here in this case you can use the pencil tool but i prefer to use the brush so for brush if you are doing on wacom or some tablet then you can choose over here down this pressure you can see while i am hovering use pressure so always hit pressure and if you want you can hit this tilt as well tilt means if you are tilting the pen then the tilt line will come i'll show it to you so first i'm taking the brush and i'm drawing something like this okay around if i'll uh, remove this pressure then see in pressure you can use it as dark light light like that according to the pressure the line will come thicker or thinner so if i go for tilt then you see if i i'm tilting the pen like this it is coming okay so some something is there it will be little thin line as compared to the normal brush if you want to delete all the things on the screen then you have to hit ctrl a that means selecting all then delete so all the things will appear on layer one on frame number one you can see this so now the brush i am taking and eraser this one is a eraser okay so in this case uh, the shortcut is b for brush 
and e4 eraser so the eraser i want the size should be little bigger so i i'll go here or i can press the bracket this bracket uh, beside p to reduce the size and uh, beside that a bracket you will uh, see the closing bracket that you, if you will press then it will increase the size so likewise you can do with this property tab if you want to increase the size over here you can increase it okay so if you want to change the shape of the eraser here it is the option is there you can hit over here and you can see more options so this is the basic thing i am talking about apart from these two uh, you can use the zoom okay and if you will hold the alt button and hit zoom out shortcut is also there control minus means zoom out and control plus means zoom in so that you can find in i think preferences if you'll go then you will get all the buttons but here i am telling the minimum tools which are required to design a character and apart from that for cleanup after doing the rough character you can use the line tool a square tool circle tools so those things will study when we'll do the cleanup of the character okay so i'll design one character the rough character and we'll see what are the tools we are using so i'll press control and plus or i can do control and and space bar holding that two button and i will do like this okay see i got the area in which i have to draw my character so quickly i'll press b for brush and i'll do my designing before that i am doing the rough that's why i have reduced the opacity the alpha to 60 you can see over here over here and i'll choose red color okay and uh, i am putting my finger on e and b okay uh, my ring finger on e and my index finger on b so quickly i will design one character so now i don't like this character so i'll erase it by hitting select all means control a and delete and again i'll uh, try to uh, try to design my character so i want to take some different uh, shape maybe like this so this is my rough character and this is just a rough so if i and oh, i want to do some clean up what i'll do see i am selecting this this character totally i'm taking this arrow tool that is selection or pressing v i want to reduce the color of this character so i can select this character by dragging the arrow on it and i can uh, on right hand side in property tab if you'll see i am going to reduce the alpha to maybe 39 so as you can see this character is lighter now so now i can draw the character detailing to do the detailing i'll first click the cursor outside to deselect uh, this character and now i will press control g so after pressing control g you can see here i am inside a group okay but without any drawing the drawing which i'll draw will be the group i'll show you how so first let me do the character detailing i'll zoom in by pressing control and space bar over here and i'll choose some other color maybe blue and i will increase the alpha to 100 so here i am drawing my character my two fingers are on e and b 
that is eraser and, and brush if i want i can change the character in this stage control minus and again control spacebar to uh, zoom in in particular place like this So it is the character ready with detailing. So you can do the cleanup with the brush tool or with the line tool. It's up to you. Uh, but I usually do with brush. It takes a little time, but I like to draw with the brush. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that the line should not have uh, should not have any gap like this. You need to connect with the lines or the points. In this case, you need to check each and every point so that the color when you will fill inside should not come out or like if it is open from any side, then it will not get fill. So that is the thing you need to keep in mind. Okay. So here the character is ready and now I'll come outside of this group by hitting to scene one or double click on the screen like this. See. So this is a group and this is individual drawing. You can see if I'll drag this arrow from here to here, this area will be selected. Okay. But in this, this case, it will not because this is a group. It will select the whole drawing. Okay. So that's why I did the group over here. Uh, later on, if I want to do some changes, then I can go inside by hitting this uh, character double click i can do all the changes uh, inside okay so likewise you can also design your character in this video i have just shown you the intro of animate cc and you should always know two software in which you can design your character so this will be helpful for you to do the animation as well in my further videos i'll show animation tutorials so try to get habituated with this software as well because this one is little critical and the line quality is little different as compared to sketchbook pro so practice in this software as well because i'll give some small animation to do in this software okay because that is not possible in sketchbook pro actually this software is professional for the artist to do the animation so get habituated with this software and we'll do the designing in both the softwares so that's it for today's video and i hope this video will help you a lot in designing your character uh, in my other videos uh, i'll continue doing the character designing in sketchbook pro and i'll do the cleanup of this character in this software itself maybe in next video or um, some other video how to color it everything i'll show it to you uh, but that will come into the character designing video only but animation part is little different so i can insert any videos in between don't get confused i'll create a playlist in which you can go and see all the things okay so thanks for watching this video i hope you like this video and if you like it don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends and if you are here for the first time don't forget to subscribe my channel with the bell icon hitting to all so thank you and take care Bye bye